So a 26-year-old football player complains of pain in the left knee since 20 years, uh, but aggravated uh, since about two years' time. Pain progressive in nature, complaints of pain while squatting and sitting cross-legged. Sorry, that is not 20 years, two years. Uh, joint effusion, mild joint effusion. Next slide, please. No ligament laxities. X-ray seems to be fairly uh, good enough. No alignment issues. Next, X next, next slide, please. Uh, this is the MRI films. You would see a uh, osteochondral defect, probably a type 3, uh, in the medial aspect of the femoral condyle. Here we are, quite a huge defect. Can we see the dimensions of the defect, please? Next slide. CT scan measurements. You have uh, a defect size of about 2.1 into 1.4 centimeters. Uh, Dr. Sundarajan? Sundar, sir? 2.1 centimeters into 1.2 centimeters. That's the dimensions. Uh, can we go to the OT, please? Ready? Sundar, sir? Yeah. Hi. Sure. I know you have a flight to catch, uh, sorry for the <laughs> delay, but you still have ample time, so uh, uh, thanks for being here. Uh, Dr. Prashant Gurur, Dr. Uh, Sandeep Biraris and Dr. Pradeep Kochepan are here to moderate the surgery. Yeah. Here we go. Hello. Yeah, Hello. you're audible, sir. You're audible, sir. S Sandeep? Yeah, hi, sir. Good evening. Can you increase the volume of the audio? Anand. Hello. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, Sandeep, can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Yes, yes. Good so, al already you heard the history. So, already we did a diagnostic arthroscopy and we saw that the, <coughs> the lesion, which was uh, measured in the MRI, is around 2.1 to uh, 12 mm, I think, 12 or 13 mm. But uh, as you know, that after doing that, uh, removing the, all the intraarticular uh, uh, loose fragments, it was found to be almost around uh, 30, centi 30 mm and uh, 12 mm. It is uh, really uh, a little bigger than the, the normally what Watts procedure which was done, which is around 2 centimeter or maximum you can go up to 2.5. Uh, but here is slightly the extended lesion, extended indications for a, uh, like a, uh, for a Watts. Sandeep? Yes, yes sir. So you can uh, give me the, the recipient. So I will show that the measurement was done with uh, uh, measuring scale. And the uh, other way of measuring is that we, uh, we made that uh, standard anterolateral portal, anteromedial portal, and we had seen the joint, all the meniscus, remaining meniscus on the medial side and lateral side is good. And uh, ACL and PCL, all those, all the other structures are good. Okay? Yes. The other way of measuring is also roughly, roughly you can measure, you can take a 8 or 6 mm uh, uh, recipient, uh, recipient, and we can measure that, how, I mean, you can approximately calculate how many plugs you can insert. Uh, here, if you see, this is a 8 mm, which uh, uh, which start from the proximal to distal, superior to inferior or proximal to distal. Probably one can come here like that, and one can come here and another 8 mm. Okay, do yes. some more flexion. So the all about here, the flexion and the trajectory is the most important for the uh, words. Okay, uh, because if you change the trajectory, when you what whatever the position you remove the uh, bone plug, the same position of the knee flexion is the most important aspect and uh, you should not worry about uh, the making an another portals if suppose the trajectory is not good we can make a, always an another uh, portal like here uh, maybe the the this is the uh, uh, last plug which i may use a 6 mm and probably uh, do the slight extension so you have to keep on adjusting the knee position you are seeing the outside view also yes we can see so here only the the width is around 12 mm here okay Yes. So here, uh, I don't want to put a two plugs here, probably the center one plug, maybe the one plug upper one, maybe one six mm plug will be the lower one. So that is the plan. Any questions? Oh, everything is perfect. So total plan is uh, three plugs, right? Yeah, because it's a lesion is so big. So we had to put at least three plugs. So what I'm going to do that, I'll take the first, uh, 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 this is the eight mm, okay? Yes. And also the what is important is that make sure that you are the <clears throat> measurement that uh, mark which is showing the 10 mm, 15 mm on your view, not on the other side. Otherwise, you'll be struggling. The other important point is to clear the fat pad better. 
So already removed some of the fat pad. Uh, because otherwise when you do an extension and when you remove the uh, donor uh, site, always there will be obstruction of your uh, uh, fat pad. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. So any precautions here while taking the portal when you are planning? Because I think you need to go to perpendicular to the surface. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that, that the trajectory is very important. Suppose the trajectory is not perpendicular, you can make an additional portal always. You can insert your uh, needle, you can use a 16 or 8 mm needle. Make sure that you are going perpendicular to the defect. Okay? So would you like some filler in between the gaps or it is okay? Just so you should leave it at least to 2 mm or 3 mm gap. I can hammer it. You can leave it 2 or 3 mm gap. The, uh, that, that will be filled with uh, your fibrous cartilage. So here if you want to take it uh, at least uh, uh, 12 mm. So you have to leave it for, uh, we'll go with the 12 only. Okay? So you have to uh, leave 3 mm for your cartilage to fill it up at that area. Okay? So this is the... Go, go, go. That is the 10. Yeah, go. Why it doesn't have the serrated one on one one? Okay. Some more, some more. Wait, wait, uh, one more, go, go. Enough. So once you've done that, maybe, uh, maybe one more, one more. Right, hard. Okay, that should be fine, okay. So you can, you can see the outside view. Yes. You can uh, always rotate around uh, 180 degrees on the right side. Okay, and uh, left side then you can remove the plug. Okay? Yes. So that is the uh, recipient side. So what we can use the same, uh, same, uh, same uh, pawn plug, we can fill it in the donor side also. So I will now we will go for the uh, <coughs> donor side, do the extension. So we are doing the extension now here. So the plan is to take, uh, always I am feeling uh, comfortable with the taking a uh, donors more on the medial side. That is a middle, you can take either medial or lateral side of the petrol femoral joint or medial and lateral side of the femoral condyle above the sulcus terminalis or around the intracondyl notch also you can take a superior and lateral. They are all the ideal entry point for your uh, uh, for ideal place for the donor side. Full extension please. Full extension. Full extension. Full extension. Yes. Full extension. Okay. Enough. So this is going to be my uh, first uh, donor. Okay. Yes. Sandeep, are you happy Point. with that? Are yeah, any perfect. suggestions? Perfect, yeah. it is. Okay, go ahead. So here we are going to take a 15 mm. Slowly, slowly, go ahead. One more, go up to 15. One more, one more, one more. Ah, enough. Okay? Yes. So again, uh, gentle twist on right side. Again, gentle twist on left side then remove it and uh, you can see the uh, can you show this outside view? yes we can see so the bone plug is not broken so the only possibility is sometimes the bone is weak and if you don't twist it properly there is a possibility that it can sir uh, break. Vikram, Vikram here Flushing. can you hear me yes, hello we, we, I can hear you very well you are, you are loud yes you should <laughs> <laughs> sir when you were actually taking out the plug from the lesion yeah I just noticed that yeah. the uh, you know the the device was slightly at an angle yeah does that make a difference or should one be completely perpendicular to the lesion Why yeah absolutely out? perpendicular as much as possible there is there is no doubt that you had to go as perpendicular as, as we can. You are correct. Blue one, no? Give the blue one. First I put the plug, then we'll go for the... Okay. Always it's very difficult to make exact uh, perpendicular. Uh, if one or two mm can, even the uh, circumference definitely will change. It's, it is... Uh, it is not easy to... Put exact perpendicular. We had full day. So okay, here you can see that outside uh, the plastic tube. Yes. 
So that will give you the safe passage when you go inside because <coughs> that is a, definitely a protective tool. And uh, as you see here, the problem, you, you have to keep as, and the, the angle of the flexion of the knee is very important here. And uh, yeah, you can slowly go around. So slowly you can push the graft inside. You can see that it's delivering the graft. One minute. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. Push, push. Uh, push. Alti, push, alti, alti. Ah, yeah, good. You had to slightly push and go. That's all? Go, go, go. Keep on, keep on going. Go, yeah. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The plastic tube should come out. Okay? Otherwise, when you take out, careful. No, no, no. Mm. You can uh, go out some more. It's not going. Okay. Usually, it goes some more inside uh, before you take the uh, dampener. Okay? Give the dampener. So, you have the gentle dampener here. This is the blue handle, which you see here. Can you see that? Sandeep? Yes, we can see. I thought you, were, you went to the sleep mode. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you had to do a gently tap, gently tap. Because we don't have the protection here. Yes. We don't want to disturb you. Yeah, you can disturb, no problem. The only problem is here, yeah. Sir, uh, wouldn't it be much more safer to put almost till the cartilage and then tap? Because at this Select point, flexion. if it breaks, you are left with nothing. Come back again. No, this is, I think, a little too much outside, uh, uh, going a slight little... Flex, slight flexion, slight flexion. Yeah, enough, yeah, enough, enough. Yeah, too much outside. And if you break, you have no escape route also, no? Yeah. So, going a little more deeper, deep inside, without that plastic thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's slightly yeah, it's hard. harder. Harder. Yeah, harder. Wait. One more. Okay, or maybe another 2 mm, 3 mm, we have to go inside. Right, yeah. Hit. This is a bigger one, this is a broader side. Yeah. Almost done, maybe one more tap. You can, you can use without plastic cannula also. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, because this uh, here you can see that there is some subcondral bone loss also. Okay. Correct. I may uh, I may uh, again uh, hit what, one or two more uh, before I uh, go for the uh, I mean after finishing the, my second plug. Okay. Yes. That I will I will go for one or two hit more because there is a slight overlap is here because of the again as I talked about the trajectory issue. Here I don't I don't think we can put a three plug now. Okay? Yes. We'll put one more plug oh, and uh, we'll do the micro fracture for the remaining area. Maybe one or two mm there. Eleven blade again. I want to. You can go some more inside. Yeah. Give the dampener again. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Jagdish here, sir. Yes, Jagdish. Uh, sir, this legend is very big, actually ideal for ACI. And yes, we are I know. Doing, <laughs> we are doing oats. Oh, yeah, and correct. If, if you left with a little bit uh, gap, can we fill with the BMAC or PRP, sir? Uh, means because this is a uh, uh, plug. Or is okay. it okay, three plugs? 
Three plex. Three plex is enough, sir. No, here, is here, here, even two plex is enough now. Yes. Because I thought initially three plug. Give the other one. There. Yeah. I would just add on here, uh, yeah. Dr. Jagdish. Uh, sir. This is an uncontained Love defect. Sir. So even in ACI, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, you do not have a um, defined margin. So ACI may not be the appropriate. Yeah. Of Please course, size-wise, yes, of course. But uh, I would definitely, if I'm doing a combination, I would do a, a probably Lux and BMAC, but not a BMAC alone. Yeah, go. Yeah. Push, push. Do you have any uh, experience push. of AutoCart you have done, sir? There is AutoCart guy. Is a dampener. Huh. Minced cartilage, hit, will it work hit, here? Hit, hit, hit. Hit, well. Yeah, hit. So yeah, hit. Yeah. You want it on the air? Second one. My opinion, you want it on the air? Flexion, gently flexion, flexion, flexion. Yeah. So I think AutoCard is a one technique which people can use it, but de this defect looks very big, you know. Uh, it's a very big like, one more, yeah. So, uh, uh, Sundar, I feel he's a right candidate for bio uni, you know. Bio? Bio uni. EP, sir. Uh, uni. Osteochondral, uh, uh, the fresh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well preserved osteochondral allograph. Wait, wait. That should be the ideal approach for this young gentleman. Yeah, he's a 20, yeah of course, I agree. It's like big flexion. Defect, you know? Fle flexion, flexion. So because even if you do this, there yeah. will be a interpositional margins, which yeah. will not be a cartilaginous. Uh, there will be a fiber of cartilage. And, so uh, the Ward's procedure itself. Uh, it cannot it, sustain it, the shear forces. Yeah, yeah. You cannot fill the uh, entire thing with, uh, uh, um, so you I know, hyaline cartilage with the uh, mosaic plasty. And you need at least 2 mm, 3 mm gap of uh, uh, to fill it up with your fibrous cartilage because that you don't want to collide with your slight flexion. Uh, uh, Arthrex has got wonderful system of bio uni. Yeah. Uh, I don't know yeah, why they don't get it in India. I can ask the Arthrex guys. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful technique. Uh, it's been available in US and Europe. Yeah. And people use those uh, big osteochondral allograft yeah. as a, uh, as the as a structural graft without any fixation, press fit, yeah, and it works very well. Absolutely, I agree with that. One more, one so, more. So you know more. the allograft results with joint replacement, where you then use the structural allograft, is not very good because enough they are enough. structural allograft which are yeah. preserved, yeah. not with the osteochondral. Whereas in osteochondral allograft, yeah. the healing rate is very very high. So, I think that should be the future of... Uh, Absolutely agree, because he is only 23 years old, extension. Yeah, so, we had to compromise in such a way, some way. Sundar, even the ACI and AutoCard yeah. will not match the counter of that femoral condyle. There is a loss of the counter of the femoral condyle. I agree. Yeah. And it is very difficult to match the entire uh, mapping, like what you said, that because when you have a big defect like this, it is not easy to uh, contour the defect with the same kind of uh, curvature hit probably i will finish it with the two plugs go slowly 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 i want to see the mark please wait 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 rotate the light source you will see better yes so that is a 10 go ahead go up to 15 that is a 10 Slow, go, one more, slow, slow, yes, I think it's 15, one more, one more, ah, enough, enough, enough. Yeah, flexion, but usually when they put that uh, soft tissue, I don't know, this time it, it is uh, too much protruding outside, but normally the, it is not supposed to, we need a full flexion, because now the angle of the flexion, as I said, it is very important. The first plug, we kept it in the 90 degrees. For this plug, we had kept almost 130 degrees. Now like we had to push it inside. That uh, cannula has to go inside fully. Yeah. We'll also need a micro fracture all for the remaining space to be filled up. And uh, wait. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. The, the always is a tricky this uh, delivering the through the can. Uh,
Go, go. Yes, Excuse sir. me, sir. Yeah, Sundar, yeah. sir. Go ahead. Yes. Pradeep here. Yes, Pradeep. Sir, this, um, that uh, tubings which you are keeping, yeah. if it is, um, if it is kept just a f maybe the two or three millimeter beyond the tip, uh, wouldn't uh, this be more easier to push it rather than leaving it out so early? No, no, no. This is the, this is the ideal. It is supposed to be like this. The previous plug was protruding too much. The one way, one is maybe the plastic cannula was not uh, put it up to the tip. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pradeep. Yeah, yeah, I got that one. Yeah, so. yeah. You, you see this plug. Yeah, yeah. It has gone perfectly gone inside yeah. compared to that previous plug because uh, uh, probably that uh, that uh, cannula was put it properly. So that is very important, naturally. Go ahead. Yes, enough. So can we supplement autocart with this? Uh, no, no. Why? There is very, you can see the space which was left, maybe 2 mm on either side, and this side is almost close to the articular surface. Uh, 90 degrees, please. Any nano drilling? Sorry? Micro fracture. Nano micro. drilling? Nano drilling, yes. Nano drilling is fine. Nano drilling or a micro fracture, whatever you. Uh, please hit it. Mm, this one. One minute. Uh, 11 blade again. Do the extension. We'll see that uh, how it is sitting well. Do the extension. See that there is some more plug is put ready. Flexion. So I, I need a one or two hits. This is not a perfect. Uh, trajectory, that's why it is protruding a little bit. Probably that uh, we should have gone a little deeper, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. The second, uh, second plug is perfectly sitting. This is slightly protruding. Wait, wait, wait. Some more flexion. Wait. Yes, hit. Yes, hit. Hit. Some more. Yeah, one more, one more. Okay, more than that is risky. You can break, you can have a micro fracture all. So the remaining space is, is very small with two to three mm. Definitely this space we have to fill it with the, uh, you can use a auto cord, definitely. Wait, careful, careful. You have made. Yeah, go ahead. Hit, hit well. Hit. You have a, you have a nano fracture with the, the arthrex. Can we use the, the, the 1.2 K wire? You can use the K wire also. also. This, uh, this doesn't have the much hold on my hand. That is the problem. It's getting sleepy. Yes, go ahead. Slowly. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Slowly. Hit. Hit. Hit well. Yeah. One more brick here. Slowly. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Dr. Sundar, so are you going to uh, deflate the tunica now? Yeah. Okay. So, I think uh, yeah. we'll go to next theater. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's it's per the, perfect the extension. demonstration. So, extension. So, initially we thought of three, but we finished with only two uh, flexion. Ah, it looks good. Yeah, that uh, dampener. I, went, I had to keep some more here. You can carry on with the other uh, theater. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Chirak. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. The trajectory is uh, better. It should not break. That is only. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Sarthik Patnaik from Bhubaneswar. The bucket handed meniscus tears are of two type reduced and irreducible types. With the help of probe, even we fail sometimes to reduce the fragment back into its normal position. In this video, I have tried to show uh, a technique in which I have used two stitches a vertical stitch, which helps me to pull the meniscus back into its normal position 
followed by an horizontal stitch to hold the fragment more firmly in its anatomical position. Thank you. Hi friends, when your graph diameter is about 10 millimeters and your femoral footprint measures around 10 to 12 millimeters, half a millimeter here or there whilst drilling can either scuff the anterior cartilage or can cause a blowout of the tunnel posteriorly. In situations like these, I use a 10 millimeter drill bit as a guide for the entry of my bead pin on the femoral footprint. I will now insert the 10 mm drill bit with hand and position it in such a way that it is in the center of the AM bundle. A bead pin is now passed through the 10 mm drill bit. We make sure we have enough space anteriorly as well as posteriorly. The endo button drill guide is now passed. The desired length of the socket is created now with a 10 mm drill bit. As you can see, we have created an anatomical femoral tunnel without scuffing the anterior cartilage and not causing a posterior blowout. 